Hello everyone, my name is Corinne Wiskman, and I'm here to introduce to you the new MFT February release. Each day for the next five days, I'll be revealing a few products from the February release, and then on Tuesday, February 16th at 10 o'clock a.m., we shop. This release is so good, so let's just get started. I believe, uh, I truly believe, that it was perfectly curated specifically for me. I don't know how she does it. She gets me with every set. Birdie Brown's Mice Day to Celebrate is a 6x8 stamp set with mice! Not only are there six adorable mouse poses, but there's balloons! This cupcake image could hold its own as a focal image on a card, but with these crates, how adorable! This is cuteness overload. This mouse could be lighting the candle. Oh. Is it really dorky that I love that we just get some crate images? I think this is really cool. A big balloon, a present or two, a birthday song, and a wish come true. Dead. I'm dead. And of course, there are coordinating dies available. Those of you that are loving box cards, check this out. Shadow Box is a five-piece die set that creates a dimensional box card that fits within the dimensions of a typical A2 size envelope. This set is very easy to put together, and it comes with two types of bottom layer for you to put your images on, or, or you can use your outside of the box dynamics, your clouds and your grassy dynamics that you can use in the outside the box, you can use with this. You cut two of this largest of the largest die to create your box, and then it comes with a piece or a die to cut your aperture, your hole in the front, and then another piece that you could use to layer in the back. It also comes with a really tiny, super thin piece that at first I was like, what the heck is this for? But it's actually to hide it in the smallest part of that lower piece. So you could attach whatever you want in there. It's really neat. I hope you guys like balloons because this release is full of them and I couldn't be happier about it. Uh, it all starts with this next product. Balloon cover up is not like your typical cover up dynamics. It's not one piece. It's actually five pieces and it could take up an entire card front. As a self-professed balloon addict, I could not help but love this die set. I needed to play with it right away, so I do have a sample for you. But this set is fantastic. You could have balloons floating with a shaker card behind it. Wouldn't that be fabulous? I cannot wait to see what you guys do with this die set. I used the balloon cover-up die with watercolor cardstock. I cut it several times, stacking it and layering it together with a strong adhesive, and then I just watercolored directly on the panel to create this background. Okay, the truth is, w when I first saw this product, I was unclear about its purpose, but once I started playing with it, it all became clear. Polka Dot Pops is actually two dies that measure about five and a quarter inches in length. Their basic purpose is to cut a pop of circles onto or into your card panel, making it very easy to add a pop of color. They are designed in a way that makes them very easy to line up in case you want to use them on longer slimline cards. They are also perfect for cutting shaker bits and or confetti for all of your balloons. You can't just have one shape of confetti, so there's also star pops. One thing I did want to note is that the stars on the larger die are smaller than the stars on just the one straight line of, of stars and the circles as well. I can really appreciate this because I enjoy using different size shapes on my cards. How would you use polka dot and star pops? Let us know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at some of the products from the new My Favorite Things February release. I will be back tomorrow to reveal even more. These products will be available on Tuesday, February 16th at 10 o'clock a.m. over at mftstamps.com. There you will find the blog, which will give you tons of inspiration using these products. And if you need even more inspiration, you can follow MFT Stamps on social media using hashtag MFT Stamps. See you guys tomorrow.